I was more than just a great set of boots. <laughs> Welcome to the Inky Man's Men Show. I'm your host, Inky Man. Yeah. Y'all in for a treat tonight. This is going to be chock full of action. Matter of fact, if you saw last week's show, then you know we had this girl on, right? Well, this week we got this girl on. <laughs> so without further ado, I introduce to you, Natasha. Natasha, take it away. <laughs> Thank you, Natasha. Good talking with you. We'll be seeing more of you, hopefully. So I want to give a big shout to her and Ashley. I want to thank them both for being my first models that I've actually talked to to be on the show. Thanks a lot, loves. Growing. I'm really digging the show, and I want to thank y'all. Just, I just want to take this hot second to thank y'all for helping me grow with this show. I mean, literally, I'm in my room. Well, one of the rooms, just doing a show and it's growing week by week. Big shouts to my man, Snake P. Big shouts to my man, E the Red, because these are my people's worldwide fearless. You could go check us out right here. We're continuously building. Okay, so now we just gonna get right into the comments. Let's do it. I want to thank I want to thank y'all for those comments. Everybody that put in the comments, there's so many of them, there was no point in me just saying anything back. But I do want to address that last one. Yes, this will continue to be Inky Man's men's show. So females that are co contacting me, cool. I, I love that. I love that. Like I said, I'm provoking you. I have to keep it like that. It's so that I can talk about things like this next topic now. BDSM, bondage, discipline, sadomasochism. Now, the B stands for one thing, the D can stand for another thing, the S and the M can stand for another thing. But basically, getting choked, dressing like animals, cross-dressing, any type of abnormal sexual behavior, anything that would be classified as a fetish. These are the things that we're going to talk about today. Now, why are we talking about that? Well, big shout to my man, Quirt. That's why I called you Quirt, a.k.a. the Dope Digimon. Dope Digimon. Dope Digimon had put me into this secret group. And in the group, I had met this female who was a part of the group. And this is what she said. I, I, I can't repeat this. You just have to see this. Baby steps. <laughs> it was that line right there that made me 
want to actually cover that topic overall. Now, generally, I would probably ask, do you participate in it? But it's such a secret society. No one's going to answer that for real, for real. So my question or the topic that I have is, do you see anything wrong with it? Telling on myself, I've been through some things, you know, um, nothing where it was leather and spikes and secret clubs or anything like that. But I've done some things and um, I ain't, I ain't afraid to admit that I would never go the route of being whipped or stepped on, peed on, crapped on. I just can't, I can't see that, you know, and I know that there's a community of that. And I would, I would love to hear from members of that community. If you ain't scared, that would be great because maybe we can even take it to another level. You know, um, at one point I had covered in being polyamorous and, uh, uh, members of that community have reached out to me, which has a crazy story within itself that I won't tell. Is there anything wrong with engaging in abnormal sexual behavior? That's basically what this question is. Personally, I think to each his own. So you do what makes you feel good, you know? I think when you're at that level where you're not doing just normal, quote unquote, sexual things and you're taking it to another level, you either had too much uh, sex or you just don't dig those ways of doing it. So, but there's other things. Getting off is just getting off, you know? Some people get off by just taking a shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But is there anything wrong with it? In your mind, in your mind, is there anything wrong with BDSM? That's the question. And again, I have nothing against it at all. You know, that's what you do. But, um, don't jump in my bed with no whips and chains and gag balls because I'll kick your ass out. Unless you get off on that, then I got to find some other thing. So with that, I think I'm just going to wrap it up there. Is there anything wrong with that? Anything wrong with BDSM? Let me know down here. Anything wrong with that? Do you think there's, you know, some people would actually look at that as a, as a strong perversion. Some will look at it as, eh, whatever type deal. But I'd like to know what it is that you think about it. And then let's get into a topic. Let's get into talking about it in the next show, next week. And with that, I think I'm just going to take it out with some bye-bye boobs. Later. Snapchat app, take a snap of this, join me, see you next week, suckers.